Minnesota supplies. Hurry up, Patrick. We got ourselves a train to catch. May I? Jones Locker, SpongeBob, I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay! Please! You're under arrest, red handed bandit! Like, like I was saying, SpongeBob, you gotta take me back! I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail! Sorry, Sheriff, I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job! It's Sandy! I mean... Oh, look, Sandy! Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob and his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner, Patrick, stepping through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor. Cause I'm in a mood. And my mood is karate! Nobody mm -hmm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! <laughs>
Patrick managed to rewind the climactic karate clash with the Sponge power Bob! of cosmic Sponge Bob! Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off. But that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound! From the top, people! And... Yet? Well, we do have a real treasure chest. The Dutchman saw treasure. The finest pirate I ever knew went by Jeff. So you can be, oh, I don't know, square one. That's not fair. I wanted to be square one. Well, you can be. Square two? Sure! Whatever. Oh, Battle Shark! How I missed you! All right, you're part of me crew now. It'll be grueling, mind-numbing, and repetitive, just like cleaning a litter box. <laughs> Square one, use the wind bongos and flying boats to get yourselves onto me ship. Once on board, hoist me last shot and fire the huge cannon. That should signal me old crew to join us and revel in the destruction of... Ahem. The downfall of... Dismissal? The dismissal of Admiral Prawn! <laughs> Pie in the sky! Run forever, but I will certainly make you try. This ship, prawn, and my pineapple. What's the matter, rectangle boy? Pining for something special? <laughs> I will make you walk the plank. The only thing I will be walking is the road of friendship, and that road leads right to Victory Town. So bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! We are very close to defeating Admiral Khan. The dust will be so heavy, he probably won't even eat our souls! Yes! 
just like this. Get you! Ah! Crew, come with me, that we might set the seven seas ablaze with fear. Ow! Aw, home sweet pineapple. Let's get you back to Bikini Bottom, huh? Next stop, 124 Cunt Street. Told you. Look at all those snails the monster kidnapped. Look, it's Gary. Gary without that monster snail seeing us. Gary is the monster snail. Huh? They grow up so fast, don't they? These massive amounts of candy bars must have given him a sugar rush. We can't take him back home like this. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy. <laughs> that whole museum down. We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. Oh, boom, 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 boom. 
qua, Og. Unga, not coral sponge car. Uh oh. Squawk, me squawk.
Who will serve my guests their well-earned cake slices? You? As if I'm a princess, you royal doofus. That would be totally uncore. Gosh, Pearl. I mean, Princess Pearl. Don't worry. Patrick and I will serve the epic cake. Let them eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a ball without tripping off. This buffet is all you can eat. Ah. Your cake, princess. All you can be on appetite. Ooh, more jelly. This buffet is all you throw up. Enjoy. The dad's flow. Your cake, good sir. This cake is fragile. We have to be careful. Your cake, good sir. May I have this dance? <laughs> Need a little break from the dads. Enjoy. May I have this dance? SpongeBob, you did it. My slumber party was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Maybe I can still make it to the sale of the mall. Yeah, the mall. That's absolutely still there. Probably. Uh, now then, I'll just use the magic bubble wand to whisk us away. This music is terrible. Thankfully, a true bard is here now. Let the real festivity begin. -eth. It's not what it looks like. He forces me to take best friends pictures. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Help has arrived. I'm your biggest fan in the whole world. Could you please, please, please give me a thumbs up? And anything for a fan. Well, in that case, how about letting Patrick go? Mm, no. Ever since you threw Bikini Bottom into outer cosmic chaos, all visitors have vanished from this once beautiful oasis of fun. And with them, their adoration for me. Do you know what becomes of a glove without love? I'm gonna go with G. <laughs> Stop smothering him! It's time I realized even the best glove can be cold. I won't let that happen to you, Glovey Glove. Hold on, Patrick! I'm coming! Show that glove who's boss, SpongeBob! I've never seen a fish. You must be this strong to save Patrick! That looks like a reef blower!
Patrick back. I don't have to do anything. Patrick is mine, and I will never let him go. I admire you, Glovey Glove, but you leave me no choice. It's just hard to see your childhood heroes hit rock bottom. Don't worry, Patrick. I have something with me that can cheer up our friend. A Squidward action figure? Even better! You have a world of friends! You're right. I have a world of friends. They all adore my fixed smile and my haunting blank stare. Thank you. I always knew you'd come for me, SpongeBob. I will never leave you out of my sight ever again, Patrick. You're my best friend ever. Don't worry, Glovey Glove. I'll get Bikini Bottom back to normal and get lots of visitors back into Glove World to love you just like we do. SpongeBob? <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants, this time you took things too far. Well, well, well. His royal hiney finally decided to show up. This snail oil saleswoman broke into my royal bath time chamber and stole my bubble soap. She never posed any real danger until your can-do attitude enabled her! Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? Silence! I am now the queen of the ocean, and with the power of the cosmic jelly, I will reshape the seas according to my wishes! <laughs> SpongeBob, I have tolerated your annoying little slip-ups for years now, but I have had it! Because of you, I have been kidnapped, I had to relearn to speak, and my toilet is clogged with jelly! Enough is enough! You know what? It's not that bad. I'll just get the plunger. You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the perfect attitude to be my new pet. Wishes may have shaken up the world, but Cassandra is the one who's gone out of control. It's time to stop it for good and save our friends once and for all. It looks really cool while we do it. Oh, 
hooked up on the wrong side of the run. Word. I'm so glad you're back to normal. Yeah. What happened? And why does my mouth taste like jelly? I have to hand it to you, SpongeBob. Your quirky approach did what the Royal Guard failed to do. You apprehended Madame Cassandra. Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all. But that's jelly under the bridge now. <laughs> As a reward for your outstanding bravery, I shall grant you one final wish, so make it count. After today, there's only one thing I could wish for, and that is... That was fun! I wish we could do it all over again! Patrick, no! no!